Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here with Let's Play The Sims 4 Barbie Part 16 and Little Diamond here is A-OK. -okay. She's so cute. Oh, hello cutie. Um, she in the last part was pretty unhappy and you guys were saying, Deli, you didn't notice the notifications saying that she needed to be taken care of or else she will be taken away. And it's also her birthday, so I really need to pay more attention to notifications in the corner. And oh, she's going crazy. It's like sped up, baby. Uh-oh. Okay, Ken. Ken, you're our man. Um, we're gonna we're gonna get him to bottle feeder, to shush, to rock and diamond. Daddy's coming. Daddy is coming. Where are you, Ken? Run, run, man. <laughs> Help our little girl. Okay, in you go. There we go. I can't stand babies crying. It just makes me just feel like something has to be done. Check out that view out the window. It's just so pretty. There's like swans in the lake. This really is the dream house. Speaking of which, um, what is dreamy? Ken got to level two in the astronaut career, which is really, really good. Uh, good job, Ken. And we have a lot of bills though. So I was asking you guys like, what do we do um, about the bill situation? Ken, that's not enough. You just need to yeah, just spend a little bit more time with you, girl. Um, yeah, I was asking you guys, like, what should we do? Some of you guys said the writing career, the painting career, but it's just going to take too long to actually earn that money um, without just cheating to level up Barbie's skills, which I don't really want to do. So I thought that we'll go over to the parents' house after our power gets cut off, because I kind of want to see the power get cut off. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll try and sort out whether maybe... Margaret can move in to help out for a little while and uh, with that she'll bring some money to help us. Um, but yeah, we need to focus on Ken's career, Barbie's career, the new expansion pack coming out soon you guys said she should totally have a clothes shop which would be really fun to experiment with so it would be nice, it'd be nice. But anyways, Barbie's got a little bit of energy so I'm actually going to get her up and get her to make a cake. I can't remember if babies can actually be taken to the cake in The Sims 4. I don't think they can, but we'll have a cake anyway to celebrate. And um, we're going to make this room Diamond's room right here. And then this is going to remain how it is for the next babies that they have because I'm so excited for more babies. I want them to have like six kids. Maybe not six, because they can barely afford to live as they are. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see. Maybe Margaret helps um, for the whole time. Oh my gosh, Barbie. Oh my gosh. Just like about to kill someone there. No worries. <laughs> um, we might invite... Should we invite Teresa and Zoe over? I don't know. Chris Jenner. We could invite Chris over for the birthday. She looks so nice in her work attire. I do love Barbie. I really do. Um, actually, I'm not sure if I ever uploaded Barbie to the gallery. Now I think about it. Let's add birthday candles. Why does it say she's still at work, by the way? That's obviously a glitch. We didn't leave work early, but... Okay, so blow out candles. Celebrate... What about Diamond? We can't really celebrate Diamond's birthday at all with the cake, but we'll have it there to share with everyone. It's 8 p.m. Let's just invite Grandma over. Arvini. And George over. Let's invite them both round. Just have a low key aging up of Diamond. Sounds nice. Where's Ken gone? Is he like sleeping? <laughs> He's snoring. <gasps> oh, that's funny. That's funny. All right. The parents are quick. They do just live around the corner though. Try to calm down. Okay. Why is Margaret in a bad mood? Usually she's very well behaved. All right. Oh, she's leaving. Don't leave. Don't leave. Just invite them in at least. Oh my gosh, she Margaret's fuming. She's probably fuming because she just heard from George about 
how much money Bobby and Ken racked up in bills? And she's like, you just had a baby. You guys need to be more responsible. Anyways, Ken, let's get up. Moving on up. <laughs> oh, where's the baby? Okay. I'm like constantly checking this corner for notifications now because I'm so aware that I need to check more often. Uh, all right. All right. Let's put little diamonds somewhere where everyone can see her age up. So many cribs. Uh, let's change dirty diaper. Poor little diamond stinking out the house. Ken, come on. It's like, I don't want to do it, but you need to. It is you, you as a father need to change her dirty diaper. It's what you do. All right, so Barbie's chatting to her dad. Let's get Ken to call these guys upstairs. Can we just call over? No. Oh my gosh, Margaret's like really angry at Barbie. She's fuming. Meanwhile, George is like, I don't want to get in the middle of this. <laughs> All right, well, let's get Barbie at least upstairs. I don't know why she... Maybe they have to be... Okay, go here together. That'll at least lead Mar Margaret upstairs. And then... Dad can follow suit. Perfect. And we'll age up. This gorgeous little girl. Age up. Yay! She's aging up! Woo! Diamond! Aged up. She looks really pretty, by the way. Aww. Okay, so childhood, boundless creativity, rule breaking, and temper tantrums await. Let the games begin. So we can now either make her an artistic prodigy. This sim has dreams of succeeding in the arts. She wants to be playful and nimble. Wants to talk to everyone and make friends. Or be a whiz kid. I think... I kind of want her to maybe be a social butterfly. Yeah, why not? And she can be active, hot-headed, loves the outdoors, good, genius, art lover, perfectionist. Hmm, what would go with wanting to, wanting to meet lots of people? I guess being really cheerful would, um, and they're happier than other sims. But it would be good to get her to get some skills up too. Goofball. She could be a bit playful. Maybe. I don't know. She could be a perfectionist being Barbie's daughter. So then she could take longer to craft items. She could, But then we'd want her to be creative. Oh my gosh, I can't choose. It's so hard to choose. I reckon let's make her creative. Let's do that. But then... Okay, but then she would be an artistic prodigy and she wants to succeed in the arts. All right, let's do that. Their first child can be a very creative child. That sounds good. Um, all right, let's check her out. She wears sunnies. Like, hold on a second. Hold on a second. This is so typical for Barbie and Ken to have a kid that actually ages up with sunnies. She looks so happy. She's like, I've arrived and I'm happy. Let's get the cake out. I'm so excited they have a child. What? Someone already ate some of the white cake? Ken. You naughty man. You already got into the cake. Look at that guilt. He's like, sorry. <laughs> it wasn't me. These guys are taking photos. Good one, good one. And Bobby, how about you take a piece? I don't think you've actually eaten much at all. And Diamond, where are you sitting? <laughs> that was so cute. We're gonna have to give Diamond a little a little makeover for sure. For shizzle. So she knows her grandpa. Um her grandfather good, that's all there. She doesn't know her grandmother though. Where's Margaret? Margaret. 
Did Margaret leave? Does Margaret, like, not like the kid? No, she absolutely does like the kid. Oh, she's at the computer there. That's, um... Funny introduction. Can you smell? You're a smelly man. <laughs> How about you just have a quick bubble bath, then you can go to sleep. Oh, we need to try for another baby. That's what we need to do. Yeah, let's try for a baby. I want another one. Let's go for it. Um, whilst the parents are home. Oh, look at them. It's like their first dinner together. So cute. I quite like that hair. I feel like Barbie would, would plait it. <laughs> so cute. So cute. All right. Um... Wait, did Diamond introduce herself to Margaret? No. We really need her to know who her grandmother is. Funny introduction. I guess we can just say Diamond's meeting her grandmother or talking to her herself for the first time. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? Sims! <laughs> Oh gosh, she looks so cute. I'm excited to, in a second, we'll have a look at what she looks like and change appearance um, so we can see her close up. Usually Sims look a bit weird in a Sims 4 when you haven't chosen their appearance, I think. The genetics mix is kind of weird. Marco just walks away. Talk about your favorite animal, Diamond, and bright and day. Make fun of adults. She's so cute. Whoops. Wrong camera angle. There we go. It's cute. It's like their first dinner together. <laughs> the sass on her. Oh, I didn't realize that would beg for new toys. Definitely. Grandma would, would spoil her so much. I think definitely Barbie's parents will help them out because I just want to turn off that music because they just had a kid. I mean, they're not going to just let them have to demolish the dream house. What was I doing? Turning off the music. There we go. Barbie's feeling confident in the bedroom. All right, making baby number two. We won't have lots of babies. Let's take a photo. <laughs> Baby number two. So cute. Alright, let's put those walls down. Give them some privacy to finish. And these two are bonding. Okay, Diamond, it's actually way past your bedtime. You have class in eight hours. She has such a high voice. So what we're going to do is... Um, let's change our appearance. Let's have a look at her. I think mum and dad are in bed. Oh my gosh, Barbie. She's very uncomfortable. Just take a bath in here. And then um, then we'll hop into bed. And at work the next day, we'll get her to work hard, I think. Oh, what? Damn it. I went to the wrong one. But it's okay. All right, little diamond. Where you're, you've been hiding behind these glasses. Let's take them off. Oh, she's cute. She's really, really sweet with her hair back. She's like so cute. Um, I don't like, I, I really like her hair as it is. This one actually, this came with the new expansion. That's quite pretty for one of Barbie's kids. Maybe when she's like for her formal attire, we'll do something like that. Um, but I, I like this braid. I think I think that works well. I think that's what Barbie would dress her in. Um, but let's... A lot of you guys thought that she should be kind of... Not girly like Barbie. Like, be slightly different. But I was thinking maybe the second child would be... More anti-pink, if it's another girl. Um, but the first child would kind of really aspire to be like Barbie. So, we're going to put her in... Some Barbie-esque clothes, maybe. Definitely pink. Definitely pink. And I know that's typical, but I, I want to go with typical. I mean, it's a Barbie LP. We have to. 
Um, maybe little yellow shoes. Or blue shoes. Blue for Ken, pink for Barbie. That's quite a cute outfit. And then we'll add in maybe a dress. A cute little dress. Uh, not that big on the Hawaiian -y dress. This one's cool. This is like a cool little play dress. I quite like it. I mean, she looks awesome in blue because of her eyes. So maybe we'll keep this a blue dress. And she can wear pink shoes this time. <laughs> Lovely. All about the pink. And then maybe we can do a skirt and a top. Um, butterfly type things. Oh, I didn't mind that. Get a skirt option. Yellow looks nice with the pink, I think. Or just like a little denim one. Yeah, we'll just go denim. And maybe some runners to match the purple in the top would be good. Awesome. Formal wear, we'll put her hair out. Although Barbie is probably the type of mom to do her hair maybe differently someday. So for this outfit, maybe she can wear her hair in little plaits like that. Cute! Totally using the hairstyles from the Outdoor Retreat game pack. Definitely, definitely loving those. Uh, Alright, so she's got her braids most of the time or pigtails because her mom, Barbie, would want her to take care of her hair and only have it out for special occasions. Uh, let's put her in this dress for formal because it is absolutely adorable. And then we'll have... Let's do white shoes. Athletic. Oh my gosh, look at those sunnies. Oh, she is so keeping those sunnies on. Uh, let's go... Oh, I want those for every day. I mean, she was born with sunnies, so maybe just one of the outfits she has to have sunnies on. <laughs> She just always wears sunnies. That's what Diamond loves. I kind of really like the yellow ones. Yeah, we'll just have one outfit with sunnies on. Uh, and she can wear them again for athletic if she wants to go sporting with her mom or dad. They probably need to get a bit of physical exercise, actually. Oh, she can have a ballet top. That's a cute idea. And uh, can kids have leggings? Can they have leggings? Yes. Gray tights. And little, little white shoes would be good. Or little pink shoes. The sunnies don't really go with this exercise outfit though. Cute. We'll just go pastel green sunnies. Uh, all right, so what else does Diamond want? She needs to have some PJs. I really want her to be in a night either. Like, could this be a really fancy nighty? That is such a cute dress. We need to have that in every day for sure. Done with little runners. Cute. Okay, okay, okay. Almost done. Let's just put her in a normal pajama kind of looking thing. Let's just put her in a little top like this with a poodle on it. Perfection. And we'll put some le giraffe leggings. They're so cool. They are so cool. I want giraffe leggings. I know it's a lot going on, but I think it's pretty rad. Party wear. I don't, I'm not really digging the beanie. <laughs> Uh, does she want to wear sunnies on her way to a party? It's a bit weird that she always wears sunglasses, but I swear everyone when their kids has their little, their little things are a bit, I don't know, a little bit unusual. We'll just put her in the same kind of dress in a purple. I need, I want those shoes to be white. Oh no, those work, those work. And then last but not least, we need a cute little swim togs. 
gorgeous so she can swim in the dream pool. And that's Little Diamond. All done and very, very cute. Very, very cute. I think she's going to have a good nose. I think she's going to have a good nose. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I'm glad that Little Diamond has aged up. I can't wait to add some more siblings to the family and... Let me know what kind of girl you think Diamond's going to be. I think she's going to be creative. We might make her a painter or, I don't know. She loves art. She just loves art. <laughs> and she's so cute. <laughs> so very cute. All right, Diamond, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build her little bedroom. I'll record that for you guys and upload it. Um, anyways, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll speak to you soon.